Why did New A's words affect Choi Young so much? Episode 16 of our beloved summer begins the finale with Choi Young still reeling over New A's words last episode. The thing is, Choi Young has always felt like he's living a borrowed life after being abandoned and then adopted. Throwing himself into his drawing, Choi Young has felt like he's living an empty life, using his art as an excuse to bury his own insecurities and issues. The thing is, New A had the nail on the head. His work does lack the emotion behind it, and it's taken these harsh critiques to see it. What is Yin Su's choice? After all this time, we cut back to the present as Choi Young makes a big decision. He's going to start afresh, setting his sights on studying overseas, but wanting Yin Su by his side while he does. It's a massive decision, one that sees Yin Su decide to give it some thought. This decision is made all the more difficult by Yin Su offered her own opportunity at work. She's offered a lucrative position of transferring to Paris to work with the team over there. And that, of course, would also put her closer to Choi Young, given his school is there too. All of her colleagues convince Yin Su to put herself first for a change, and after what her grandmother said about living her own life, it's all boiling down to a huge life-changing choice for her too. What helps Jiang turn a corner in his life? While this is going on, Yun Ho despairs over Choi Young leaving. That wailing is only exacerbated when his severance pay comes through, which is way more than he expected. When Sol Yi sees it too, she gasps in shock. Jiang heads out with Park Dong Il who encourages him to start finding the beauty in everyday life. It's something he's struggled with for most of this season, with last episode's flashbacks showing him scoffing at taking pictures of the market. He's encouraged to look at the world through the lens of the camera, presenting life as it is. Dong Il also mentions the lack of photos Jiang has of his mum. For Song Il, he only has one picture of his mother, and that's a group picture. He's thankful for that, but urges Jai Ung not to waste his life procrastinating, convincing him to seize the moment. Jai Ung eventually visits his mum in hospital. There, she opens up, and admits she decided to leave originally, because she was afraid that he'd turn out as miserable as she was. So she abandoned him. Jai Ung scoffs at her explanation, and admits he won't forgive her for what she's put him through. No level of suffering can forgive what she's done. And yet, she's still his mum. He agrees to continue seeing her, but it's clear there's a lot of baggage between the two. What happens with Choi Young and his mum? Does he reveal the truth about his feelings? Choi Young heads home and speaks to his mum, who admits that she actually knew about Choi Young being aware of her son. For her though, Choi Young is her family. With tears stinging his eyes, he admits he was afraid he wouldn't live up to their lofty standards and be good like them. Lee Yin Ok smiles warmly and tells Choi Young that they've never been disappointted in him. What choices do Yin Su and Choi Young make? With the air cleared, Choi Young decides to do what he needs to do to be a better person. So too does Yin Su, as it turns out, who decides she's going to follow her heart. The thing is, Yin Su never has, and through some flashbacks we see she's always gone with the flow, but she's still had some good moments regardless of that. The only person who hasn't seen that is herself. Now that she's living her best life, Yin Su decides she's going to stick with her current life and enjoy it for longer. Choi Young, meanwhile, is dead set on studying abroad. With the pair bound for different destinies, Choi Young promises to return and asks her to wait for him. She agrees to do just that, as the pair make their mature choices to better both their lives. Does Choi Young tell Yin Su he loves her? Jai Young focuses on himself and even films a documentary about his favorite moments involving his mum. With a smile crossing his face, reminiscing on those rare moments where he and his mum shared time together, she sees him from afar, and seems to brighten up a bit. Choi Young eventually studies abroad, while Yin Su dives headfirst into her work. The pair continue to communicate over the phone, although Choi Young eventually surprises her by arriving in the street, just to tell her he loves her. It's a really beautiful moment, and Yin Su is shocked to see him again. The pair embrace, as Yin Su urges him to hurry up and return. What happens during the time jump? We then jump forward two years later. Che Ran and Chai Young drive together with the latter in a much better place. He's smiling and even more so when he finds out she likes him. They're en route to a book donation event, where Sol Yi and Yun Ho are both prepping everything ready for the big event together. Chai Young is filming too, and when Yin Su and Choi Young show up, he warmly smiles at them. He's got over his crush on Yin Zero Su, and appears to be living his best life as well. Alone, Choi Young makes a bold decision and decides his story with Yin Su hasn't ended yet. He asks her to marry him. How does our beloved summer end? During the epilogue, Jiang approaches the happy couple and decides they should film another documentary. 
Now that they're getting married, he thinks they should film another doku series. Together, they both face the camera and tell the viewers that they're married. The last episode ending. Our beloved summer bows out with a sweet ending that wraps up all the big plot points and gives our characters a conclusive finish. A lot of this drama has been focused on healing old wounds and getting one's life in order before moving on. With that in mind, this K-drama has been thematically on point and this final chapter rounds all of that out nicely. Seeing Jai Young's character actually grow at the end is a nice inclusion, even if he's been severely underutilized for large bouts of this show. Likewise, Choi Young and Yin Su both grow and are much more mature than they were originally, with their spirits and heads held high for the future. In the end, the characters have really helped this show grow, and the final scenes with Choi Young admitting that he loves Yin Su is heartwarming and certainly welcome. The story does wrap up with plenty of satisfying moments for all the different characters, although it would have been nice to see more scenes involving Yoon Ho and Sol Yi together. Whether there will be a second season to this is unknown at this point, but either way, there's certainly plenty to like with this show, which ends with a sweet treat of a finale.